Hi guys, Jackie here from Arnold. How are you diddling? Hope you're all having a good day. Okay, we're back with another review of Dark Ghost Paranormal. This is one of my favourites um, for a paranormal investigator. This one is called Vampire Logs. I've seen a few minutes at the beginning. I'm not 100% sure about this video. I don't know where it's going. So let's go and have a look. Hold on to your knickers. Here we go. Here we go. Vampire's Log. The country road about which there is a terrible legend about people living here rather than creatures similar to people. I'll tell you a story that one of the subscribers told me. Ten years ago, a man was driving home by turning off the highway into a, onto a forest road, thus shortening the path. This road was already full of terrible rumours. The fact that people disappear there, they find cars without drivers and passengers. Ooh. These people have gone missing and never found. But the man did not believe in these rumours, he believed that it was fiction. After driving two kilometres, he noticed a man standing on the side of the road. He described him, he was wearing jeans and a sweater, despite the fact that it was 15 degrees on the street. Passing by this strange guy, the man decided to stop and bring him up. The man called him to the car, the guy stood still. After, when he turned towards the car, the man saw that this guy's eyes were shining and two large fangs were sticking out of his mouth. Okay. The man got scared and got into the car and began to leave. Looking in the rear view mirror and saw that this guy was chasing him, oh my god! The man increased his speed about 50 kilometers per hour. The guy did not lag behind and ran after him. The road was very bad and you can't accelerate along it. The man increased his speed about 80 kilometers per hour but the guy still do did not lag behind and ran him. Passing so kilometers four man saw on the roadside three more similar to the other guy, also shining eyes and protruding fangs. After passing them the man saw that they had run behind him. It was not until he left the forest road after he vowed that he would never enter this forest again. And today I am going to that very forest road. Oh my god! Dark ghost. Dark ghost. Come on, Dennis. I haven't seen this. Oh. Let's see what he gets up to. Has he got a crack on his windscreen? Is that a wire? There was a man that ran in front of him. It's the music from 28 Days Later. I like it. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, he's vanished. Just could be a local farmer. Okay. Oh my god, there's a man there. That could be one of his mates. Now I'll pass this road and look for an abandoned house. So there are some buildings. This is the house. I drove through the forest, now go to that Zabrushka. See that there are. It's not translated very well. 
Okay. It's in the house. Oh my god. Do you know some cracky locations in Russia? Значит, не врали то, что эти люди или кто они, да и существа, которые стоят на дороге и которые один перебегал. So I'm assuming from the title Vampire's Log. Вот это что за заборушка? Вот. He's looking for vampires. Is that a face in the Я window? Я не знаю, кончилась ли лесополоса или нет. I'll have to stop that. That looked like a face. It could be Pareidolia. Just a random white shirt hanging in the living room and a Moses basket for a child. Okay. And a t-shirt out. Okay. There's always shoes in these places. Ming in, isn't it? Now you'd think if he was a vampire, let's put the cameras out. If it was a vampire, Blair, you'd think he'd go in the day, wouldn't you? Is at the door. <laughs> it's obviously switching something on. Oh god, you can still see how dark it is. Yeah, you have to be quite agile to do these ghost songs. It's <laughs> probably why I've stopped. Ah, so is that the attic? It's always clothes, isn't there? And shoes. Oh, a weird suitcase stood on its end. See, that looked like somebody was sleeping there. Maybe a homeless person. <laughs> and the blast furnace floor crunches. Okay. I'll be here, I'll Придет сюда или... Ты знаешь, это может быть мертвец или что-то. Если я не могу, то есть я не могу. Я не могу. Я не могу. Я Это точно не зверя рот. Вот она. That shirt's just moved. Oh, there's somebody there. Somebody's followed him. God. I wonder if he's got a weapon or something with him. Dennis, you need to arm yourself. Oh, he's got no trousers on. Half naked man. Oh, there's one over there as well. There's two of them. Oh, shit.
Dennis, you're in trouble, mate. Is he looking to see if he left something? God. He's making some strange noises. Yeah, there's another one at the back there, look. It's two of them. Oh, and shit, he's stuck in the attic. Oh, crap. It's so wondering about. It could be a couple of his mates, fair enough. But if it was that obvious, would he post it? Yeah, it'd be the end of you. I'm gonna rip you to shreds. Dennis! No! What's that? Is it coming with a bird? Oh God, this is freaky. I don't know what to make of this. See, there's a noise and then a rush, rustling sound. Listen. Unless that's edited in afterwards. It's like a rustling sound that comes with it, as if it's recorded separate. Hmm. <coughs> Not sure about that. Ooh! Now that to me sounds like it's in one place. Well that wasn't. That... Oh my god. There's loads of them. Oh, bloody hell. Sounds like a bird. I keep thinking that's a person down there. It's just clothes. Oh my God, that sounds a lot closer. freaked out anyway even if it is his mates that sounds like it's in the room with him oh, 
God. Now he's saying the light's going to go out. Somebody's going to come up out of the hole. So I can't... I can't work out if that's in the same place or not. I think I need to go out. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Just that's him making that noise. Just to the left of the screen. Did you see a shape? He's got out. How did he do that? Without passing them. Oh! Oh! He's like a clan of them. Do you think he set his mates up to do all this? I don't know, because I trust... I've got some faith with Dennis. Come on, run, 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 run. Okay, okay I'm redoing this review bit at the end because I've just re-watched the video of the vampire logs with the dark ghost. And I've noticed... I think it's kind of obvious at this point. Not to say I'm not heartbroken. I think I'm absolutely devastated. The noise you can hear there... Ah! Sounds like a bazooka. The noise you can hear, around that noise, there is a static noise. And to me, that looks like it's been edited in. Shoot me if I'm wrong, but that looks like it's actually been ad edited in afterwards. Then you've got the situation where he leaves. Now he's saying that his battery's going. You don't see him getting out of the house, which is very suspicious. I'm sorry, Dennis, it is. But then he's got enough battery to spot the person on the path and him running. Okay, it breaks my heart to say this, but I think this is set up. And Dennis, if it isn't, I'll apologize now. But to me, that looks like it's set up. Please, 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 if you are getting stuck for material, just don't post. I would rather you post if it's genuine than or own it. I just want to read you the disclaimer that's at the bo the back of this. There's a disclaimer on here and it says, somebody's sorted it out for me that knows Russian. All characters described events are fictional. Any coincidence with real people or events by accident. And it says, please do not repeat what you saw. The author will not take responsibility for the harm caused by the video. So basically what he's saying there, all characters described events are fictional. Any coincidence with real people or events by accident. The disclaimer is basically taking away the fact that if he mentions anybody that is uh, real. So when they're talking about the story at the beginning, uh, any information they get or any names they get, that's what he's saying, that they are fictional. He doesn't want to be held liable, which is fair enough. But what he hasn't done on there is saying it's for entertainment purposes only, like Tim Morozov does. Now, Dennis, if this is entertainment purposes only, please put it on. So the true paranormal investigators like myself, you're not discrediting us. It annoys the hell out of me if you're going to discredit a paranormal investigator if you're going to make shit up. Uh, like I say, I apologise if you haven't and it's all genuine, but there's a couple of clues in there that I think tells me you've made this up. Happy for you to come back to me and then we can have a discussion about it and then we'll, we'll post it obviously on YouTube. Um, but I'm not going to say... I do like you as a person, I like you as a paranormal investigator, but I'm kind of going to be heartbroken if I find out that you've been making shit up. I'm not impressed. If you are, put it on the disclaimer at the beginning. Change that disclaimer. All right? Right, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to go off and have a cry now. I'll speak to you later. Bye.